Hi there. I'm Laureen DeVoe, Master Instructor Trainer for Marathew, and today I want to talk about the fascial movement variable expand. When we look at this variable, we want to think of the idea of expanding the torso, expanding the arms and legs, creating more space in the joints. And we're going to do this with a regular uh, prop that we use and a, an exercise that we've seen before. Now when we talk about the expand variable, the idea is that we're going to create greater tensional integrity or tensegrity is the word that we use to describe that. And we're also going to look at how we can incorporate breath into this movement as well. We're going to add one more element to it and that's the idea of opposition. So having the arms and the legs working in opposite directions. And again, that's going to help us create more stability or more control through the torso. So I've got my flex band wrapped around my feet and I'm going to take it in both hands, coming down into my supine position and I'm going to flex the upper torso just to get into my starting position. Now the regular exercise that we would do would be exhaling to reach the arms and the legs away from each other and then pulling them back in. And we want to feel that idea of the arms and the legs pressing away from each other, creating more space through the center of the body. So I can press the arms and the legs out and then return back in. But as I mentioned, I want to talk about changing the breath. And now I'm going to do this with an inhale. And when I inhale, what's going to happen is I get more tension through the fascial layers of the torso. And the term hydraulic amplification is something that'll come into play here. It's the idea of getting more control or more work from the muscles around the torso as I inhale. So again, coming down into my starting position, elbows flexed, I'm going to exhale to prepare. And now as I inhale, pressing the arms and legs away, and then exhale as I return. And as I inhale, I'm feeling that reach, that length, the oppositional pull, and then bringing everything back in. Once again, pressing out, and then I'll return back in. So it's a very simple exercise, but you can see how all of those elements, all those different variables we talk about in the fascia course can be applied here. So try adding some of these variables into your regular programming, and have a great day.